I'm from Stockholm, Sweden, and I've been doing hacking for maybe five, six years officially. So I was a developer from the beginning and during that time I was always security aware. I always thought about security in a way that I was like, never trust the user. That was like the core concept of building stuff. But I never thought about like, okay, let's be the, that user and try to do bad stuff. So I met some friends and they showed me how to be that bad guy and I realized like, hey, this is fun. And at the same time, every like these responsible disclosure policies showed up and, and I was like, okay, so let's combine my knowledge with the, the, the possibility of actually doing some good. To me, like personally, I hack because I really love to build stuff and I always also love to break stuff. I hate building stuff too much, so I'm just, I need this breaking down thing to basically just align my life somehow. Also to learn, like that's the best way to learn how to build stuff is to know how to, you can actually break them. So when this hacking thing started for me, I started to gather knowledge in a way I've never done before. I, I read a lot and I study a lot around it. I, I fiddle around with it. I try everything. So I, I actually do a lot of research. I'm not the guy that reads like books about um, like secret agents and stuff. I, I, I read blogs about security issues in products. And uh, sometimes you can like stumble upon things um, and see that, oh, this, I just like, oh, I, I stumbled upon this bug. But most of the times that's not the case. The case is that you've studied something that, that you know how it works and then tries to go around that. The best feeling is when you're playing around with something and you're like, this could never happen. And suddenly it, it happens. Like I can, I, you see, I can get goosebumps just by thinking about it. And, and it's, it's so weird because that feeling, it happens maybe like three or four times a year that, that like right in your face. Um, and I've had one, one of those stories are basically with, with uh, Justin Kalmus working with Hacker Success uh, on Hacker One. So Hacker One for me has always been a platform that enables companies to interact with, with hackers. That has always been the core concept. It almost feels like an independent place to have a company to start their program and trying to interact with hackers, but also there's a great community around it. We see a lot of people from the companies also joining in as hackers and vice versa. Like we see a lot of hackers getting, getting jobs on, on the companies actually having bug bounties. And that I think is something unique to HackerOne. It's a great platform to actually make those two teams actually collaborate and make awesome things together. HackerOne has always been my like priority thing in like during DEF CON. Before this event, I'm like, oh, it's going to be awesome. We're going to hang out. And then I come here and I'm like super competitive. I'm like, oh, I, I need to focus. I need to find stuff. Like if I get invited, I'm like, I'm going to show them. I want to I wanna show them like why I should be here. We collaborate, we work together, we compete against each other, but we also work as a team. Like everything is super exciting. So the companies that are here are basically really prepared to getting a bunch of hackers, poking at them, and they realize that we're come a long way to actually do this with them. So they're super excited from their, their end and also like they're paying a lot of money. They give a lot of swag to us and um, it's uh, amazing to actually meet the people behind because as soon as you have something that seems funky you can like ask them and they will give you more information or try to help you to actually find a way around it. There's a lot of hackers that you want to meet and talk with. It becomes natural to actually stay at this part of, of this whole weekend just to just to hang out and, uh, and, and party, like it's a big party. I just met Orange Sai, which is like, a, I'm a big fan of him. So that was, that was super cool to actually meet him. And then I, I met a bunch of really young talents that I've never seen before that is just killing it. 
The benefit of this is we actually are like helping companies to be more safe. And we're helping the internet to be more safe. And also we get something out of it. So it's like, it's, it's, it's a competition, but also something that saves the world somehow. We're all here in an experiment. Nobody has any clue of what is right, what is wrong. We're just trying to learn and trying to create something that has never done before. We're writing history, for real.